Hi guys and welcome to this short lesson where we're going to be discussing how to install Anaconda on Windows. So Anaconda is the world's most popular data science platform, but don't let that scare you off. It's not just for data scientists. It has become one of the go-to sources for those who want to learn Python with an easy to install and set up option. Anaconda is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. When you install Anaconda, the installation includes multiple libraries and packages to help you on your coding journey. One such package is the Jupyter Notebook, which is discussed in another lesson. There are three editions of Anaconda, individual, team, and enterprise. We're going to be discussing the individual edition. So how to get there? Well, here I am on Google's homepage, and I simply typed in Anaconda, so you can do the same, or you can type into your browser, anaconda.com. So once you do, you'll land on the Anaconda homepage. Here it is here. So the individual edition of Anaconda is its free Python distribution for solo Python practitioners, researchers, and students who are working on their own. With over 20 million users worldwide, what makes Anaconda so popular? Well, it's free. It's available for several operating systems. When you download and install Anaconda, you don't just get Python, you also get dozens of Python packages which may be relevant to your work as a developer. Anaconda also helps you create and manage virtual environments. A virtual environment is a container where you can install a specific version of Python and related packages without impacting your original version of Python. And as mentioned, Anaconda also installs several tools to help you write Python code, such as Jupyter Notebook and Spyder. There are lots of other reasons to install Anaconda, but I think that covers the main points. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, here I am on my Windows machine on the Anaconda homepage. So up on the top left here, hover over products and click on individual edition. So it will be brought to the individual edition homepage. Click download. We're brought all the way down to the end of the page. And as you can see here, Windows Python version 3.8. So I'm going to click the 64-bit graphical installer, but do choose whichever one is right for your system, 64-bit or 32-bit. When you hit that, down the bottom you'll see run or save. I'm going to click save. And as you can see here on the left hand side, it is a pretty large file. So this can take a few minutes depending on your system. So I'm going to click save. And I'll be back in just a few minutes when this is completed. OK, guys, so here we are back and Anaconda has finished downloading. So let me jump into my downloads folder. Here it is here. Double click on the installer to launch it. OK, hit next. OK, accept the terms and conditions. I agree. I'm installing it just for me, which is recommended. Location, don't change this, just click next. OK, that's from a previous version of Anaconda. You hopefully won't see that if this is your first install. But as this is an additional install to what I already have, it's coming up that the folder is not empty. I have to choose a different location. So let me do that. I'm just going to call it Anaconda underscore tree. Next. Now here, this is important. Add Anaconda tree to my path environment variable. Click that. It goes red. Don't let that scare you off. You need to do this to help Anaconda and Python run a little bit more smoothly on your system. So I do recommend that you check this option, even though the Anaconda documentation recommends that you do not. Click install and let it run away. Okay, when the green bar gets all the way over to the right hand side, click next. Now it does give you the option here of installing PyCharm for Anaconda, which is a Python code editor, and that's totally up to you if you want to do it. I'm not going to select that option. If you want that option, click on the link. I'm just going to click next. And then finally, finish. OK, you know it's successful or your installation has been successful. When you see this, welcome to Anaconda message. So as you go through the installation process, if you have any questions on the Anaconda homepage on resources, click help and training. Then over here on the bottom left, individual edition, see documentation, click that. And on the left hand side here, installation installing on Windows. So if you have any questions or problems with the install, which I hope you haven't, well, I hope you haven't got problems, questions I don't mind, but I hope you don't have any problems. You can come here as a point of reference 
and any questions you might have on installation. Here's the option to add Anaconda to your path variable. I do recommend you tick that, as I said. And then if you want to install PyCharm or not. So a lot of information, helpful information contained within the documentation. So after your installation has completed, other than the thank you screen that you get from Anaconda, how do you know your installation has been successful? Well, go down here to the bottom left hand side of your screen and type in Anaconda. So A-N-A, -A, there you go, and it pops up Anaconda. So what I'm looking for is Anaconda Navigator. Now mine says Anaconda underscore tree because I chose that during the installation option. Yours will just say Anaconda Navigator. So you're selecting this one here for your system. Click on it and Anaconda should start up. Depending on your system, this can take a minute or two. And here it is. This is the Anaconda Navigator. So in here, you have Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, Spider, and Microsoft VS Code, which is a code editor. And we'll take a look at that later on in another lesson. Okay, guys, that's it for this lesson. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you soon.